So I'm here in my garage. I've got my Husqvarna slice seeder machine right here. And I wanna replace the blades here so I can go do some verticutting outside to thin out my turf. And I wanna replace the blades. I've got the replacement blades right here. They're 15-107-80. So these replacement blades work for the Bluebird machine and the Husqvarna machine, and I think like a Billy Goat machine and some of the other ones that are sliced cedar machines. For this machine, you need two of these boxes of the blades. The blades look like this, and I'm gonna go ahead and replace those on here. So, so you can replace the blades pretty easily by just lifting this up and then unscrewing the nuts and bolts right here and putting the new blades on. And I've done that in the past. I'm gonna take this reel off so I can make it a little bit easier to replace. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You gotta take this off. So you gotta take this piece off right here. Here's the bearing for the reel right here. You gotta take this off, do the same thing here and on the other side. So I've got the nuts and bolts removed over there for that side of the reel. Now I've got to do the same thing over here for this side of the reel. This is just going to have to be a slow and tedious process using a wrench on this side and a wrench on this side. And then once I have that free, the whole reel will just slide out. Just got to use an Allen wrench to loosen up this um, screw right here, this set screw on this bearing. And then should just pull off. There it is. So now that the bearing's off, I gotta loosen up this set screw. And once you got that set screw loosened, all you do is just unscrew this thing right here, like that. That's a stubborn bugger. Okay, so there you go. So now you can just take these things off. So these things are just metal spacers. So you take them off like this, and you can take this off like that. So once you pull those off there like that, then you can just replace these blades like this. Here's the new replacement blade, and here's the old blade. I need to get some ones with carbide tips on these. Not sure exactly where to get those, but. So the reason I wanted to take this whole reel off the machine is so I could use this thing and just make it super easy and fast. Just zip them off and zip them right back on super easy. So I'm going to take all of these off and replace the blades really quickly. So I've got all the old blades taken off these and now I've got to just put them all back together on this shaft. It's really simple and easy to do. All you need to do is just put this on there like that. And then a spacer. And then another one. got this thing all put back together. There's a grease circ on this bearing and there's a bearing down below. I'm just gonna put a couple of squirts of grease into this bearing. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, that is disgusting. I left this grease gun out in the rain and in the sprinklers on accident and is just dripping this nasty, this nasty stuff here. So now with the blades replaced, you just slide it back in and reassemble it the same way you took it off. It's quite easy to do. So there it is, it's all put back together. Now I just need to, I'm gonna go outside and try it out and see if it works. So it should cut significantly better. Here are the two blades right here. If you can see how much was worn off, it's really not that much, but just that little bit makes a big difference. So now I'm gonna go outside 
and use the thatch machine and tear the lawn apart. So replacing the blades on this thing is really easy to do. It just is time consuming and a little bit tedious. But if you have a machine like this, the Bluebird, the, I think there's a Billy Goat, and this Husqvarna machine, it's a slice seeder. And so, you know, if you think your machine's kind of getting tired and not working so well, replacing the blades works fantastic. So anyways, I appreciate you guys watching these videos and I'll see you in the next one. Hey buddy, what are you doing?